Hey everyone, Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me in the fourth video of our series on Plant 3D. Now we've gone from reference dimension, oh, sorry, from breakpoints, reference dimensions, ISO messages, floor symbols, and flow arrows, and today we're going to look at placing insulation symbols and location points. Now, I guess it, like everything, I always say it's entirely project dependent whether you want to show the insulation symbols or not, and whether the pipeline does have it. So I can place. Uh, the insulation symbol, this kind of symbol on my pipe run. So when it appears on the ISO, it tells the installers that there is insulation on it. So if I look at the uh, line number, so it's 1008. So go to 1008, run it as a final and go create. And then we're going to see what um, what that symbol is going to look like on that isometric there as well. I guess you know, it's, it's going to be personal preference. It's going to be someone from the, the client or the, the engineer is going to want this. So um, you might not necessarily always show it, but when you do have a need, uh, there's that symbol there as well. So that insulation doesn't have any properties on it. Um, so, you know, you it, it just have to go through and, and put the properties of the insulation on the pipe run. Um, but otherwise, if you look at the pipe run there, so there is insulation thickness and insulation type. So that's what you'd need to populate to place that information there. The other one is a location point. So this is similar to an ISO message, but it, it'll be a location for something. So if I look at the properties of it, so it's just a marker. So let's run that ISO again and I'll show you what we mean. Just let that run for a second. So we'll, we'll have a look at it and we'll have a discussion about it and, and sort of review the outcomes and, and have our thoughts about it. So it should have, doesn't look like it did. So it should be placing the location point and dimensioning to it. But ultimately, you know, an ISO message would cover it. So again, it's kind of a moot point to have a location point on there. And again, I'd have to check my settings. I don't know why it's not reporting the, the distance to it or, or what it is, but um, again, you're probably not gonna come across it too much when you have something like an ISO message, which lets you put a little bit more information uh, into it. So. They're the sort of last two that I wanted to cover today, insulation symbol and location points. Um, and then for tomorrow, we're going to go through nominating a start point. Uh, so that's why I've sort of broken it down into these five days. So uh, thanks for watching. Short and sweet video today on these two symbols. So hopefully you got something out of it. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, but please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for daily notification of all my videos. And I'll see you for the last video in our series tomorrow on playing around with the start points and seeing uh, what we can and can't do with it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.